Martin. the opposition. Then uh, you have now. Yeah. All right. All right, Martin. Thank you very much for helping us dissect that. I wish we had more time to take a look at this. Martin Andate is a political analyst joining us live uh, from our city center studios. Let's go back to our previous story on matters education, where a new report on public universities has revealed shocking levels of academic theft in some institutions. And the university's audit report released on Thursday by Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi detailed how students and institutions conspire to go around the set standards of quality. This is a conversation I was having here by prof with Professor Tom Odiambo, a lecturer at the University of Nairobi. Thanks so much for staying on for this second bit of the bulletin. You were mentioning something very important. You think this is a good move by the Ministry of Education and especially Dr. Fred Matiangi, but it's how it's been done. This audit was conducted for about three weeks to one month. Was this enough time for them to look at the entire system of education, univer uh, university education in this country? No, no, no definitely not. Um, the, the point is, you're talking about so many universities. Mm -hmm. You're talking about public universities, private universities, you're talking about universities that are in the making. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't wake up one morning and claim that in two weeks, even if we were to give you one month, you would not be able to audit the universities. You would not be able to audit how uh, degrees are awarded, the process of teaching, the process of recruitment, the process of promotion, the research capacities in these universities, the quality of education on offer. So yes, um, good intentions, uh, absolutely unconvincing methodology, and uh, some kind of not very convincing conclusions. Mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of these conclusions are things that have been on the streets, they have been in the newspapers, mm -hmm. they are online. We know very well that there are universities where you have one permanent member of staff and mm -hmm. five uh, part-time lecturers. We know that you have universities where students don't do cuts. Yeah. Students don't understand that cuts mean continuous assessment tests. Mm -hmm. So they do one cut. Really? How is it continuous when it's one? We know that degrees have been being handed out to people, you know. Yeah. People register for a degree. They appear in class for about half the time. Half mm. the time they are not in class because half the time mm. the lecturers are not around. Yeah. And then they graduate. So the tragedy here is that the watchman, which is Commission for University of Education, has woken up and said, no, I've not been watching. Mm. This is, this is really... They're cleaning really, up their own mess. Uh, no, it's really... Uh, they, they are not cleaning up their mm. own mess. They're actually publicly confessing mm. we've not been watching. Mm. Under our watch, uh, all this tragedy has been happening. Mm -hmm. this, this is terrifying. In other professions, I mean, this is tragic. Mm -hmm. Think about a doctor saying, oh, I was really with the patient in the, in the clinic, but I didn't take the pressure, the blood mm -hmm. pressure, so sorry the patient died. Wouldn't you be condemning the yeah, patient? So this is now the watchman saying, I wasn't guarding, mm -hmm. sorry. So do we trust what then the watchman is saying has mm -hmm. been happening uh, under his watch or her watch? This is the tragedy of the report. In the event that degrees are revoked, are we expecting uh, this move by CUE and uh, the Ministry of Education to attract lawsuits? They will be sued. Remember that universities are actually run by councils. Mm -hmm. The councils are appointed on behalf of the citizens of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So any degree awarded by a university should have been approved by the council mm -hmm. through the Senate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And these are legal entities. So when the student comes to the university, they entrust the system mm -hmm. to be uh, morally upright, or what they call in building, uh, to have integrity. Mm -hmm. So if there is swindling around, mm -hmm and the, the student then gets the degree, uh, who is to blame? It is the university. Yeah. And the university therefore can't wake up in the morning and say, we have been swindled by the student, mm -hmm. and then we awarded the student a degree, but now we are recalling the degree. That's really lazy thinking. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? <laughs> it is lazy thinking. So you can imagine how many of these students are consulting their lawyers. Yes. You can Already. imagine. Yes, you can mm -hmm. imagine how many universities are worried because this is internal rot 
uh, that has been going on for so many years. Mm. People have known about these, but people have kept quiet because it's the way fraud happens throughout mm. the country and nobody takes the blame. So I'm supposing that even the threat that degrees will be revoked is just a public uh, relations exercise. Mm -hmm. But now when people become sober, it will be very difficult to do that. As a lecturer, you have been in the system yes. for quite a long time. Yeah. You observe this every day. What do you think the ministry should have done differently if really they were honest about wanting to clean up the whole system? It's about consultation. It's about Commission for University Education holding the councils uh, and the university management responsible. It's about really it's high time we involved all sectors of the society mm -hmm. in the way our universities are run. So I would have expected really the ministry to take this uh, quite carefully, mm -hmm. uh, look at sample cases instead of this is like a universal condemnation. Yeah. You can imagine how difficult it is to walk out here mm -hmm. saying that I'm going to university to study yeah. or to walk out here saying <laughs> I'm a lecturer, you see. So it should have taken some time. All right.